And this is going to create a macro in your document called words to avoid. Hi scholars, Professor Amachi here. Wanted to take you through the words to avoid visual basic script so that it can help you automate your words to avoid workflow. Okay, let's get started. Little bit of background here. This is a very simplified model of how the workflow might look. It seems like we're always in this constant loop of writing or rewriting. Check right here has a few few workflows underneath that, that we do need to go through. Checklist items. If our tour or chair or a committee member come back to us and say, hey, uh, you know, they notate something on the uh, checklist items. If it's no, then we go through, rewrite, and uh, check again. We also have to go through words to avoid. If you come up with some words to avoid, then go through your rewrite, check again. That looks okay, then proofread everything. And then if that's no, then rewrite and go through the uh, process again, go through the loop. Now, here's what also happens during this workflow. We have something called CDA. And you know what that is, right? Competing demands for attention. And scholars, this could be anything. Here's what happens. Those CDAs affect all of this. Those CDAs tend to take energy away from any of these components in the workflow. I don't know about you folks, but if I am interrupted within any of these components here, you know, like if it's here, or if it's here, or if it's here, or here. It takes me about 20 minutes to get back into that groove after dealing with the CDA. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, sometimes it takes a little bit shorter, but those CDAs take energy away from this writing process right here. And seeing that we humans have a limited amount of energy during the day that's battling energy loss all throughout the day so wouldn't it be cool if we're to at least take some of these components and automate them or make them uh make them easier kind of hit the easy button right that's how that words to avoid there that's how this script came about The script was adapted from Rhonda Bracey, who adapted it from Paul Edstein. And these words to avoid, you know, I didn't include all of them because, you know, Will, Mayor, can we're, we're in the middle of writing chapter three now, so it's future tense for everything. But certainly some of these other words are worthy to be flagged. And I did not flag this researcher, author, investigator. I didn't count it, you know, count for two in the role of the researcher and then look for it outside. That's going to be for a feature script, right? But for now, I just let this go and because I wanted to get this tool into your hands. So it's under string find here. Those are the words that are going to get flagged with a turquoise or a teal color. You can also take this script here and do a replace, but right now we just want to just mark it and call it done. This is the, the VB code, and this is going to look like this in Word. So let's say if we have some text, 
like um, like this here. Now this is a Nixon State of the Union transcript. Uh, I have no political affiliation one way or another. Uh, this just happens to be public data. <laughs> so for our purposes, let's uh, drop in some public data to test our test our script with. Now, State of the Union addresses are worded differently than uh, in academic work. Here's what we want to do. We want to take our code here, and you can adapt this for any other words that you want to look for. Come out to macro. Should be under tools, should be under macro. Go to your VB editor. Your VB editor is here. Just paste in the script. And this is going to create a macro in your document called words to avoid. Go ahead and close it when you're done. And so next time when you come out to macro, look for macros. Hey, look, there's your words to avoid script and you can run it. All of the words to avoid will be highlighted and it will be up to you to go ahead and clear it. If, if this looks okay, <laughs> then you can come up here and just give it no color. If a whole section looks okay, then yeah, I can give it no color or you can edit accordingly. Okay. Now, after you're done with this, after you're done with the macro, before turning it in, get rid of the macro because that's one more thing somebody has to deal with. Definitely want to simplify for everybody else. So come in here to macro, words to avoid after you're done. Let's go ahead and delete it. Do you want to delete the macro? That would be yes. Save your document. This has been a demo of looking at our writing workflow, looking at the problem of CDAs, <laughs> and what we can do to help, help with the words to avoid. And hopefully we get over to complete. But of course, if our, uh, if our tour or if our chair or if our committee member uh, has a few things uh, on this, then this whole process repeats right, right back to the beginning there. Right, so always go with uh, uh, what your team is uh, helping you with or suggests for you. So I hope this tool is helpful for you. Please leave a comment down below. Uh, be sure to hit a like and go ahead and hit subscribe too. We got some cool tools that we are always looking at and I uh, wanna make the technology accessible to you without being too excessive. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and have fun with it.